there Oh, it's full of tension Dave Zolo is a Roots singer-songwriter whose passion for performing has taken him around the world in order to share his music with others. He grew up in Iowa City and began playing the piano at the age of five with the Prussell School of Music and studied there until age 17. I quit playing the piano for the most part uh, while I was in college. And then my last year of college, um, I uh, I'd started playing piano again, and I broke up uh, with my girlfriend, wrote a bunch of songs, uh, and started playing and formed a band and, and started making a living and been at it ever since. Zolo attended the University of Iowa to major in American Studies. He had a strong interest in writing and was working on a biography of his grandfather while at school, who was a jazz musician. Zolo's interest in writing and background in piano combined to create a serious gift for songwriting, which he soon began to share with others. In the cold, cold feeling again when you lay down. During his senior year, Zolo and a few friends, three from the University of Iowa, started a band called High and Lonesome. The band quickly garnered a lot of fans in the area, which expanded to the Midwest and eventually overseas. However, High and Lonesome never signed to a label. Well, there just was nothing, you know, there's no industry here in Iowa. There's no record industry. Um, there was some interest in High and Lonesome, um, some major label interest, but I wasn't really interested in, in going that route. Um, I didn't have the, op we didn't really have the opportunity in, in 94, a couple years into my career, they discovered some tumors in my, in my larynx and my vocal cords, essentially. And so I needed to have reconstructive surgery on my larynx. And it, it actually ended up taking a long time to, to heal. I mean, I continued playing and singing, but it wasn't the same. Um, you know, it really took close to a decade to get my voice fully back, I would say. Even with tumors, Zolo could not stop performing. He played piano in Nashville with singer-songwriter Todd Snyder for a year, only to return to his home in Iowa City. Now he performs around 200 days a year, whether it's solo or with his current band, The Body Electric. He has performed all over the United States and Europe, and as he puts it, wherever he needs to go. Iowa City is a unique town in that, you know, it's, it's not an unusual thing or it's not considered bad form to, to want to be an artist of some kind, you know. Um, my dad went to the Writers' Workshop, which is what brought my family to Iowa. Um, my mom's dad was a musician. So the idea of being, you know, um, an, a touring independent musician, which a lot of parents, you know, would not be very supportive of, uh, or a lot of communities would not be very supportive of. Um, I, I was very fortunate to have parents that, you know, that um, encouraged me and, and a community which, um, you know, has always uh, embraced me and, done, and, and been really nurturing in a lot of ways. What some people would see as a, as a, as a drawback to this community, I see as a plus, which is you're, you're outside the industry and therefore you're free from you know, the ways in which the music industry would want to shape the work that you do. After his tumors were discovered, Zolo established a record company, which he named Trailer Records. Trailer Records signed many successful bands, including Brother Trucker, B.J. Fleming, Joe Price, Greg Brown, and The Pines. When Zolo's vocal cords were healed in 2005, he closed the doors to Trailer Records and committed himself fully to performing again. Well, I ain't never coming back here. You know, I, really, I consider myself, I mean, I, there have been periods where I've done a lot of producing, um, but really, uh, mostly, most of my career has been, uh, you know, doing my, either playing with my own band or, or as a solo act. And um, I would say, for me, the thing that I would judge my experiences by is, is, is fun 
and uh, and you know the people that that I've met and that I've I've connected with. So those are the things that that are, are most meaningful to me. And then the work itself, obviously, it's the music is the most is the most important thing. Because many members of his first band attended Iowa, Zolo still holds a special place in his heart for the university. Um, you know, I had looked at other schools um, and, uh, and came to the University of Iowa, uh, which just made sense um, in, in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, I mean, who knows in what ways my life would have been different. I can't even speculate at this point. Um, but. Uh, but I have no doubt that, you know, that having gone to the University of Iowa and having lived in, in Iowa City, um, those, are, those are big reasons that I do what I do and I am who I am. As he has been performing for almost 20 years now, Zolo has a real sense of what being a musician is all about. I think as a musician and as a, a person, having, you know, listening, is really what's at the heart of what we do. If, 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 if you want to have a musical experience that's, that's fulfilling and that, um, that really uh, strives to achieve, I think, what, what art can achieve or, or what music can achieve. So, you know, always listening and always, you know, keeping your ears open. And um, I mean, but I would, I would, that would be my advice to a, an octogenarian too, I mean, to anybody. Considering his success, some may find it strange that he lives in Iowa City, but as the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child. If relatively quiet Iowa City is the village, there couldn't be a better poster child to represent its culture.